Vandal spray painted a Sacramento law firm. It's known for representing police officers with anti cop graffiti. Good evening. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrian Moore. This is a look at some of the damage done. Tonight, the Sacramento Police Department is asking for the public's help in identifying the people responsible. New tonight, CBS 13's Sharin Roger joins us live in downtown Sacramento with the story. Sharin? Sam and Adrian, the graffiti was spray painted on this wall behind me in large red letters. It has since been cleaned off, but the owner says that he thinks he was targeted because of a flag that he flies outside. I saw that what was written on the building, and I was taken aback. David Mustagny was left stunned by the two word epithet cursing police that was spray painted across his law firm's front windows on I Street in downtown Sacramento. Those very words behind me are the words that have been chanted by anti police antagonists across the country. Mustagny Holstead is known for representing law enforcement officers in a number of police unions in California. They believe what motivated the vandals to target them was this Blue Lives Matter flag flying outside their office that was lowered to half staff Tuesday in respect for the shooting death of a NYPD officer who was laid to rest. It's just not acceptable. The national discourse seems to have permeated this local level. <laughs> City Councilman Steve Hansen, former officers, and law firm staff came out to help clean. And if it's cleaning up their graffiti, but uh, that's great. But we're also trying to send a strong message that this is just not okay. It's really sad to see for the business owner. It just two wrongs don't make it right. Sacramento police say while it's discouraging, it's not seen often in the city. This is something that appears to be an isolated incident. We don't see a lot of this here in Sacramento. Um, we have a lot of support here by our public. A show of community support at a time when officers around the country seem to need it most. It's an unfortunate event that occurred and we, we hope that um, our community steps forward, not only supports us, but supports this business. Now, police are investigating. No persons of interest have been identified. No further damage has been noticed here. But we asked them if they're going to continue to fly their flag, and they said yes. We also asked if they fear for their safety, and they said that they're confident that Sacramento police will protect them. It really is just a shame that this happened, and it's good to hear that they're going to continue to fly that flag. All right, Sharon, thanks so much for that live report.